Hello and welcome to Quick Charge. I'm Steven and today is Monday, April 22nd. The retail giant Walmart has announced plans to put 19 autonomous electric forklifts to work at four of its distribution centers as it experiments with a robotic workforce. The retail giant said it will roll out 19 fully autonomous Foxbot Class 1 electric forklifts across four of its distribution centers. The project is being closely monitored with an eye towards a wider deployment of the robot forklifts in the future. Walmart says a number of its associates are currently being trained to operate the Foxbot, which is designed to handle a lot of the manual labor needed at the warehouse loading dock. It seems strange to be discussing robotic forklifts in the same week that the workers at Volkswagen Chattanooga facility completed a historic vote to join the UAW. But while it's easy enough to dismiss Walmart's AI efforts as anti-labor, the reality is far more complicated as a nationwide operator shortage continues to impact logistics and construction. For years, Tesla and other EV brands have been claiming that electric vehicles will have much lower repair and maintenance costs due to having fewer moving parts than internal combustion engines. There are a few people who have been skeptical about this, especially since Tesla is a premium brand, but now we have the data to prove it. Consumer Reports released in 2023 annual auto surveys, which includes data directly from thousands of car owners in the US. Right now, Tesla has the lowest maintenance and repair cost of any brand. At the other end of the spectrum, German cars, namely Audi, BMW, and Mercedes-Benz, and even Porsche, which rank as the most expensive brands to repair. Many other premium car brands have expensive maintenance programs that are mandatory, keeping them out of those rankings. Tesla doesn't do that and it is paying off here. We will probably start to see other brands that are going all electric get up that list over the next few years. Mining fatalities climbed more than 30% from 2022 to 2023, with construction fatalities also continuing to rise. In a bid to help keep miners safe, First Green Industries has launched a new line of cabinless, remote-operated excavators designed specifically for use in critical mining operations. The company's first cabinless electric loader, the Elise CBL, was designed to enable fully remote operation, reducing the risk of operator injury or exposure to hazardous materials like asbestos or radiation in high-risk demolition environments. And because it's electric, it can do so without adding diesel exhaust to the list of hazards faced by its operators. The model comes with loading capacities of 1,500 and 3,300 pounds, Charging is accomplished using standard 110 volt or 220 volt outlets or by swapping batteries on the fly. In both cases, the key feature is remote operation. The Rocky machines can be operated via remote cabin or by the mobile app for a quick backup solution. Most of the workplace fatalities reported in 2022 involved heavy equipment operators. By reducing the amount of noise in a mine with electrified equipment and by putting the operators far away enough to keep them out of harm's way, the Rock E may just be able to keep workers a little bit safer. Just weeks after announcing plans to showcase its solar EV technology to the public in the United Arab Emirates, startup Eptera Motors has shared plans to begin selling its nascent vehicles in the UAE. Earlier this month, Eptera said it would attend DriftX in Abu Dhabi, a conference in the UAE that promotes investments in groundbreaking ideas. The company sees high potential for solar mobility to thrive in the UAE. Aptera intends to produce 53 UAE exclusive builds of its solar EV. The unique design features a gold exterior, solar chill technology to pre-cool the cabin, a custom interior trim, and markings throughout paying homage to the anniversary of the union. Rather than seeking big investors in the UAE, Aptera Motors has chosen a familiar mode of operation for garnering more funds in the Middle East. It's asking for its own fans to invest. Until they are sold out, any Aptera customer who invests $27,000 can secure one of the 53 Union Edison Solar EV build slots. A future electric high-speed rail line between Las Vegas and Los Angeles broke ground today in Nevada. In December, Brightline West was awarded $3 billion in funding as part of a $6 billion infrastructure package created for high-speed rail. The other $3 billion will go to public high-speed Los Angeles to San Francisco rail project which has more than 100 miles of high-speed line construction. The other $3 billion will go to the public high-speed Los Angeles to San Francisco rail project, which has more than 100 miles of a high-speed line under construction. Brightline West will be a privately owned 218-mile all-electric high-speed rail service that will include a flagship station in Las Vegas. At speeds of more than 186 miles per hour, trains will take passengers from Las Vegas to Rancho Cucamonga, which is 37 miles east of downtown Los Angeles, in just 2 hours and 10 minutes. 
twice as fast as the normal drive time. Brightline West estimates it will remove 3 million cars from the I-15 annually. The federal funding will allow the project to begin construction, which is aiming to open by 2028. Getting a high-speed line in operation this decade will show Americans this terrific way to travel. If you have ever felt frustrated by traffic gridlock or airport hassles, a better future just got closer. In today's community comment found on YouTube, somebody mentioned that it would be great if all EVs could power your home, but right now the hardware is too expensive. I see what you're saying and hopefully we'll be able to see some crafty solutions that'll let us use our EVs and electric bikes or scooters as a backup. Thank you for watching Quick Charge by Electric. I'm Steven and have a great day.